Whether you're brand new to knit or crochet or just looking to brush up on your skills, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm gonna present to you the ultimate guide for the absolute beginner. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step the skills you need to know from an absolute beginner to a novice. If you've watched any of my project videos, you know I didn't follow these steps myself. But if I had, I'm certain I would've saved myself a lot of headache and frustration. First things first, you wanna master the skill of seeing stitches. It seems so basic, but that's the point. How many crafters do you know that hop straight into making the most wonky, crooked looking sweater you've ever seen? If you really wanna master this thing, taking baby steps is going to be key. Learning to identify basic stitches is the foundation of all knitting and crochet projects. Take your time to familiarize yourself with each stitch. From the humble chain to the intricate double crochet or the knit stitch, once you've mastered seeing stitches, the possibilities are endless. To work on this skill, a knit project I would suggest, try knitting a dishcloth. While I've never made one myself, this will be the perfect functional project to expose yourself to a variety of beginner-friendly knit stitches. Just be sure to use cotton yarn so you can actually use the dishcloth. You can find a free pattern almost anywhere, but I'll link to a few of my favorites in the description box below. As far as crochet projects, I would suggest two of my own designs. One is the pack light phone case bag, and an even simpler project is the thick and quick coasters. For your knitting, you really just wanna try not to drop or add a stitch. And for your crochet, you want to keep your eyes on even edges. Stitch markers will be your best friend. Now that you're seeing stitches like a pro, it's time to get creative. Start building on your newfound skill by experimenting with better techniques. Don't be afraid to mix it up and let your creativity shine. Once you can confidently knit a rectangle, why not take it up a notch and seam the edges of the rectangle to complete a simple project like the Coast to Coast Beanie? It uses very beginner stitches, but add a bit of color work and it comes out looking way more advanced than the project really is. Once you know how to crochet each stitch evenly without skipping any, add some flair by doing color work in my polychrome shoulder bag pattern. It's the same beginner stitches you learned in the first skill set, but it's clearly leveled up a bit. Building on those same skills, let's next talk about increasing and decreasing. These essential techniques allow you to shape your projects and add dimension. Practice increasing to make your fabric wider and decreasing to create tapered edges or shaping. With a little practice, you'll be shaping garments and accessories like a seasoned pro. Before we actually get into garments, let's start with small accessories. For the knitter, a great project for this skill is my recently completed Sophie scarf. This scarf is deceptively simple, especially once you master the skill of stitches. As for crocheters, take a stab at completing the finish shawl. This gorgeous wrap is a piece of cake for the beginner, and it's a gateway project into crochet shaping, which will definitely come in handy later. Now let's take things up a notch and combine all the skills we learned on a larger scale. Try your hand at knitting or crocheting a simple garment. This is where your newfound skills truly come to life. For the knitter, might I suggest the shoulder shift tank. This super cute tank is the perfect garment to showcase your newfound midi skill. As for the crocheter, I suggest my design for the whole mood midi skirt. My very first crochet pattern that I ever designed, and hopefully your very first crochet garment. Or maybe you might like the really caught your eye Ruana. Like I mentioned before, I didn't follow any of these steps I'm sharing today, but this was my very first crochet pattern that I ever completed. So I know for a fact that it's very beginner friendly. A final suggestion I have for the crocheters following these step is I would try crocheting the shoulder shift dress, which is the sister pattern to the previously mentioned shoulder shift tank. I don't know if you caught it, but all of these garments are glorified rectangles. Honestly, you could just stop here and impress everyone you know, but let's move on and add a little bit more to your bag of tricks. Who says knitting and crochet has to be dull? It's time to play with color. Experiment with different hues and color combinations to create eye-catching projects that reflect your personal style. Whether you prefer bold and vibrant tones or soft pastels, the choice is yours. For the knitter, I already mentioned the Coast to Coast Beanie. While I did suggest playing with color, maybe you didn't want to do that. But at this point, you could try switching color from row to row. That is a very beginner skill and should not be intimidating at all. For the crocheter, there would be no better free pattern than completing the Daybreak Crochet Tapestry. I still have mine hanging above my bed. Again, this may look intimidating, but if you follow the steps that I mentioned, you have all the skills you need to complete this project, trust me. Continuing with the baby steps, there's more fun to be had with stitches. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try new stitch combinations. There's a stitch for every skill level and aesthetic preference. Let your imagination run wild. For the knitters, be sure to get your hands on the Weekend Brunch Scarf. It's a free written pattern on the Lion Brand website, and I have a video literally walking you through how to read the pattern and complete the scarf for yourself. Not to brag, but it's one of the hidden gem videos I have here on my channel. As for the crocheter, take a stab at the Willow Lace Vest. All simple stitches, but they're paired together in a very intricate way that make you 
look like a professional. Ready to take your knitting and crochet to the next level? It's time to tackle working in the round. Just like working flat, we'll start small, then gradually work our way up to more ambitious designs. Working in the round opens us up to a world of possibilities. For the knitters, I highly recommend my recently completed Easy as Neck Warmer. It's a simple ribbing stitch, which you may have completed in step one, but it's in the round. For the crocheter, I definitely recommend my beginner-friendly black or white bucket hat, which comes with a schematic, a written pattern, and a full video tutorial with me showing you how to make the full hat. I'm not gonna leave you hanging as you embark on this new skill. You might have guessed it, but there's no need to choose between flat work and working in the round. Why not mix things up and incorporate both techniques into your projects? Create dynamic textures and visual interests by alternating between flat panels and circular motif. The end result, a truly unique and impressive piece. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now entered sweater territory. When it comes to the skill, you could pick pretty much any project I've completed on my channel, but I would specifically like to highlight a few. For the knitter, take a look at the Daily Ritual Raglan, the Fishnet Cardigan, and the Daylight Cardigan. All these projects incorporate the skills that I mentioned before. They gradually work you up to the wonderful world of garment knitting. For the crocheter, might I suggest the Lilith Cardigan or my recently released Lion Brand kit called the Half Wrap Fall Shawl. All these projects mix flat work with working in the round and they're very beginner friendly. Last but certainly not least, it's time to flaunt your skills. Whether you're gifting your creations to your loved ones or proudly wearing them for yourself, don't be afraid to showcase your handiwork. After all, every stitch tells a story and you're the talented artist behind it all. The beginner knitter might find their skills best showcased by completing the window pane cocoon knit wrap. This has some really fun beginner techniques that even incorporate crochet for striping. The crocheter might want to try out the Gertie cardigan. This basic cardigan uses granny stitches and really shows off your crochet skills. Check out my video on the snake to see the modifications I did. Well, that's it. The ultimate project guide for the absolute beginner knitters and crocheters. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun and enjoy this creative journey. And don't feel the need to gain more skills. If you want to remain a dish towel knitter, that is a-okay. Just be sure to enjoy every stitch and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafting content. Until next time, see you in my next video. Bye!